In a small village nestled in the heart of a forest, there lived a wise old woman who was respected and loved by all. She spent her days tending to her garden, offering guidance to those who sought her counsel, and sharing stories with the children of the village. One day, a young girl approached the wise woman with tears in her eyes. My dear, said the wise woman, what troubles you so? The girl sniffled and wiped her eyes. My grandfather passed away yesterday, she said. I don't understand why these things have to happen. Why do people have to die? The wise woman placed a hand on the girl's shoulder and smiled gently. Let me tell you a story, she said. A story about the circle of life. The girl nodded, and the wise woman began her tale. Long ago, when the world was new, there was a great forest. In this forest, there lived many animals, each with its own unique gifts and strengths. Among these animals was a great bear, who was the strongest and fiercest of them all. The girl listened intently as the wise woman continued. One day, the great bear grew old and knew that his time on earth was coming to an end. He called all the animals of the forest together and spoke to them. My dear friends, he said, my time has come. But do not mourn me, for I have lived a long and full life. Instead, celebrate my life and remember me fondly. The wise woman paused for a moment, allowing the girl to take in the story. After the great bear passed away, the animals of the forest did as he had instructed. They celebrated his life and told stories of his strength and bravery. And in this way, the great bear lived on in their hearts and memories. The wise woman smiled at the girl. You see, my dear, everything in this world has a beginning and an end. But that doesn't mean that it's gone forever. It lives on in the memories and stories that we share with one another. And in that way, it becomes a part of the circle of life. The girl wiped away her tears and smiled. Thank you, wise woman, she said. I feel better now. The wise woman patted her hand. Remember, my dear, she said, life is a precious gift. We must cherish every moment and honor those who have come before us. And in doing so, we become a part of the circle of life. From this story, we learn that death is a natural part of life, and that it is important to celebrate the lives of those who have passed away, rather than mourn their loss. The story also teaches us about the importance of memories and stories in keeping the memory of loved ones alive, and reminds us to cherish every moment we have with those we love. Additionally, the wise woman's message about the circle of life emphasizes the interconnectedness of all living things and the importance of honoring those who have come before us. Thank you for watching. May you have peace and prosperity, and may all your wishes come true.